How's it world? Welcome back to Elvu. We're a family of adventurers on a mission to travel around the borders of our country, South Africa. Previously, we enjoyed an unforgetting break in the serene landscapes of Underberg. Today, we embark on a thrilling journey to the vibrant city of Durban, with an exciting pit stop planned along the way in Port Shepston. Our route winds through undulating grasslands adorned with quaint homesteads and rustic huts. The vistas are nothing short of breathtaking, with majestic mountains looming on the horizon. While the initial stretch may be gravel, we've become seasoned travelers of these roads over the past week. As the towering mountains gradually give way to rolling hills, we find ourselves back in Kokstad. This time, we're in no hurry, relishing the anticipation of reuniting with the ocean. Our first stop in Port Shepston unveils yet another enchanting lighthouse. From here, our journey continues northward, hugging the picturesque coastline. For the next week, we'll be camping at the Natalia Resort, a departure from our usual adventures. Here, again, we have the entire campground to ourselves, a welcome luxury. Staying at the resort brings a unique twist to our adventure. With a heated pool, mini golf, and an array of amenities, it feels like a mini vacation within our journey. Lucas even had some winged friends paying us a visit, providing us with a delightful challenge to catch a glimpse of them.
Of course, a visit to the beach is a must. The inviting warm waters beckoned us, even on overcast days. Frolicking in the waves and sinking our toes in the golden sands is an endless source of joy. During these tranquil off-season days, the area comes alive with an abundance of wildlife. We even had the pleasure of witnessing a group of pipers enjoying the surf, adding to the beautiful memories of our stay. The true highlight for both the kids and myself was the exhilarating moments when the super tube was open for all to enjoy. As part of our mission to explore every corner of our country, we couldn't pass up the opportunity to venture into the heart of Durban city and discover its bustling harbour. Being one of the nation's most vibrant cities, it was still a breeze to navigate our way to the harbour, and we were in for a treat. Standing at the entrance of the harbour, we were mesmerised by the spectacle of ships gracefully entering and departing, all set against the stunning backdrop of the Durban skyline. Inside the harbour, we were even treated to the sight of a massive ocean liner docked at the port, a sight to behold. Having soaked in the city's energy, we made our way back to the resort, ensuring we bid a fond farewell to the beach.
As we packed up our tent, a little green companion of Lucas decided to join us, hitching a ride deep within the folds of our tent. Our journey continued with one last stop in Durban, the International Airport, serving as an entry point marked another important border in our quest, prompting a quick detour for a closer look. Cheers, Durban. As we continue our northward journey along the coastline, numerous charming towns beckoned us to explore. Our destination was the vibrant town of Richards Bay. Braving the scorching sun on a sweltering day, we made our way to the pier, eager to gaze upon the endless sea. Here, we found ourselves surrounded by one of South Africa's most iconic inventions, the mighty dolos. These specialized concrete blocks are designed to tame the waves and safeguard harbor infrastructure from nature's relentless forces. In the distance, we spotted surfers riding the waves and the boat gracefully exiting the harbor. With the sun beating down, we decided to escape the heat and continue our northward journey along the captivating coast. Our next stop would mark our arrival at the pinnacle of the eastern coast. Stay tuned for our next adventure.